Campbell with Colt Defense, and what I'd like to talk to you about today is Colt's newest entry into the modular carbine market. It is the Colt LE 901. This particular unit, as you see it on the wall, weighs 9.4 pounds. It is a direct gas impingement design. It's a 16.1 inch barrel. It's got a 1 in 12 right hand twist, chrome line barrel. It has a vortex flash suppressor, Colt holding front sight. This particular display gun doesn't have the sight mounted, but it will come with a Maytek rear sight. Comes with an Ultor rear stock. Uh, what you uh, see on the right side of the receiver is full ambidextrous controls. You have the uh, bolt release, the magazine release, and the fire controls, and you have the same on the left side. So this weapon is designed totally ambidextrous from, uh, from the beginning. The other uh, part of the unique design of this weapon is it's easily convertible into a different caliber. This is a 5.56 upper conversion kit that mounts directly onto this 308 lower, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to convert this 308 caliber LE901 into a 5.56 LE901. The way that that's done is by removing the complete upper receiver assembly as a unit. It stays intact. If you have any optics mounted, they stay zeroed. The conversion kit from Colt is such. This is a short barrel rifle, a 10.3 inch. The 308 lower, we're going to convert it right now. And you have a 5.56, basically an entry weapon now, uh, that's based off of a 308 lower. The magazine well, if you take a look at it, the insert mimics the bevel on the 308 and it continues it. So you end up with a magazine well that acts as a speed shoot for, re for reloads. This weapon system actually is, uh, is easier to reload as a 308 lower. The difference in weight, 9.4 pounds as a 308, 7.4 pounds as a 5.56. So your trade-off for that modularity over a regular 5.56 Colt carbine is roughly a little under half a pound.